What is happening, everybody? TC here with Smoky Mountain Knifeworks, smkw.com. Today, we're talking blade steel. Five, top five premium blade steels. Let's light it up. Yes, top five, you heard me right. Top five premium blade steels. Now, here's the thing. And I know this is going to stir up some controversy. I know you're going to let me know in the comments. However, <clears throat> when it comes to discussing blade steels and what the best ones are, <coughs> <coughs> wow, okay, <clears throat> there we go. Here's the deal. Yes, you heard me right. Top five premium blade steels. We're going to do this series across um, all budgets of steel. So we're going to do some uh, mid-range blade steels and we're going to do some budget blade steels as well. Uh, the first one I wanted to do is top five premium steels because there's so many out there and there's so many arguments over which one's the best and which one is this and that. And honestly, if you want to get into it, you can get into, you know, looking at charts like this uh, all over the place. I mean, they're, they're everywhere. Charts uh, with blade steel tests and, and hardness tests and edge retention tests and, and all that stuff. And you can really dive in that and you could come out with something that analyzes all the data and all the different scoring. But in the, at the end of the day, it's still subjective. Um, and it's still really based on opinion. It's based on what you do with your knife and how you use your knife. So, what we decided to do is I'm going to go over some of the most popular and happen to be my top five favorite premium blade steels. So, first up, uh, I'm going to get some of the obvious ones out of the way. Um, first up, I'm going to go M390. Right here, I've got several knives in M390. I mean, everyone knows it. It's been a tried and true blade steel for a long time, uh, and so many companies use M390. I mean, you're gonna find it on a lot of Italian knives. I've got it on a ton of my Isanzos, uh, my SNKW exclusives. I've got it on my Microtech here. Um, you're gonna find M390 across the board, and it's just a great all-around blade steel. Uh, when it comes to a combination of all things, um, edge retention, toughness, hardness, um, corrosion resistance, it's just going to perform well all around when it comes to all of those different testing methods. It's, it's just a great all around blade steel. And that's why you find it so much and that's why it's been so popular for so long. Um, next up is going to be no surprise either. And, uh, that was the most popular blade steel of last year, and it continues to be extremely popular. Um, and that's Magna Cut. I've got it here uh, on my SMKW exclusive Nebula Marilla uh, from Case, and uh, have been really using that knife a lot. Really dig the blade steel on that one. Um, I've still got my <coughs> Mule Team right here that we got at the beginning of 2022. Um, to do some testing, and you can see uh, I have definitely used this blade right here. Like, I have used the crap out of it and uh, haven't actually cleaned it up at all. And, um, like, that, I mean, you can see that I've used the sheath as well. This is just a random universal sheath that I found on our showroom and uh, popped it in there. And, uh, tell you what, I love this knife, I love the steel. Um, and, to not technically have the um, chromium content and for me to have used this camp cooking and put it up wet or not clean still hasn't rusted um, that thing it's it's very impressive very impressive how that has performed um, next up on my list is going to be one that is uh, kind of a newcomer on my on my top list. I'll be honest, this blade steel has not been my favorite, um, 
and that was simply because I really didn't give it a chance. Um, I'll be completely honest about that. 3V was not a blade steel that I really put a lot of stock in. <clears throat> I had not really used it, and I should have reserved judgment um, until after I used it. And uh, I tell you what, after using it quite a bit over the last few months, 3V has become one of my favorites. Uh, in particular, this Reef F6 right here in CPM 3V that we put through our Willet Cut Torture Test um, and then sharpened it back. So I've got, especially after doing that torture test and then sharpening this back, that really gave me a great perspective on the attributes of CPM 3V what it's capable of, and how good it really can be. And, um, you know, all of these I take into account sharpenability, too. That's one thing that I love about MagnaCut. It's easy to sharpen, comparatively to a lot of different things. Um, CPM 3V, again, this blade was a dream to reprofile after torture testing it. And... <clears throat> that's why I'm absolutely loving 3V. Today we just launched, as of the filming of this, this is the day that we just launched our brand new um, Re8XOs in CPM 3V. And uh, I went ahead and got my snakeskin copper right there in the fat carbon. And uh, I'm loving this one. I tell you what, this thing is awesome, super fidgety. And I love the blade steel choice. I wasn't sure that I was going to like it when uh, we originally put in that order. Um, but love, love 3V now. It, is, uh, it has been one that has definitely changed my mind. Put it that way. Definitely changed my mind. And staying on that re 8 XO right there, another one of my top five favorite blade steels is actually Elmax. And I know that's probably going to surprise some, some people. Um, but LMAX uh, has definitely been one of my favorites. It is another one that, just like M390, it's a great all-around blade steel. Uh, it works great. It sharpens great. And it's got good all-around attributes. Corrosion resistance, edge retention, toughness, hardness. Um, it just works great all around. It just doesn't have the popularity of something like an M390 or even a Magna Cut. And uh, that's a shame because LMAX is a blade steel that gets looked over um, all too often as far as I'm concerned. But it is a phenomenal, phenomenal blade steel. And I absolutely love it. Now, we've got one more. So, let's recap before we go over my final blade steel. And these are in no particular order by any means. Um, if I had to put them in an order, I would probably say LMAX number five. Number four would be CPM 3V. Three would be Magna Cut. Two would be M390. And number one would be this last blade steel. Now, before we go any further, I want you to pause the video. Go down in the comments. I want you to let me know what you think my number one blade steel is. I'll wait. Do, 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 do. Hopefully I won't get a copyright strike for that. Um, so, last premium blade steel on the list. And probably my favorite overall, if I'm being completely honest. Um, and all of these are going to be comparable when you look at them on a chart. Um, and again, it's subjective. It really depends on what you do with your knife. Um, when we talk about what I do with mine, uh, it really depends on what I'm doing that particular day. And that really determines what knife I carry. So, <clears throat> you know, if I'm, you know, bushcrafting or something like that, I'm going to be carrying 1095 or D2, uh, typically. Sometimes A2. Um, if I'm going to be uh, in a very wet environment, if I'm going out on the lake, if I'm going fishing, I'm going to carry something that is very corrosion resistant. Maybe LC200N, H1, Magna Cut. Um, M390, something like that. Um, so also bushcrafting, CPM 3V now, because that's, again, become one of my favorites. Last blade steel on the list. 
everyone knows how much I love S35VN. I've made no qualms about how much I love S35VN, but that's not it. <laughs> I tricked you there. I do love S35, and I probably have more knives in S35 than any other premium blade steel. What about S45? I love it in that uh, Smooth Criminal from Medford right there. Um, that's mine. Absolutely love that blade steel. No, that's not it. Could it be S90V? This is another one that I've loved right here. Is this uh, Benchmade Mini Bug Out with uh, S90V on the blade steel, the carbon fiber handles. I do love S90V. It's very difficult to sharpen, and that's why it is not on the list. Now, I don't have that big of a problem with it because I do take care of my knives daily, and uh, I keep it stropped up, but, and I don't really have to sharpen it, like deep sharpen that often, but still, that's the reason why it is not in my top five. <clears throat> Could it be something that's not stainless? Could it be something like M4? I've made no qualms that this is definitely one of my favorite SMKW exclusives right here is the Desert Warrior Bug Out in CPM M4. Absolutely love that thing. Got my Glow, Glow Rhino accoutrement on there uh, and my Snake Knot lanyard. No, it's not M4, although I do love M4. Great qualities, great attributes. Could it be one of my favorite heavy-duty folders? In my Mini Adamas, Adamas, in uh, CPM Crew Wear. That's a great blade steel. That's a really great blade steel, and I absolutely love it. But no, it is not Crew Wear. Favorite blade steel overall is going to be CPM 20 CV. Tried and true, one of the oldest on this list. Um, and it still holds up. It's still one of the best all-around blade steels, in my opinion. As far as edge retention goes, and really some of the things that I look at the most are things like edge retention as it compares to sharpenability, because those two are going to go hand in hand, right? But also, when I look at the edge retention, sharpenability, the toughness, the hardness, and the corrosion resistance, CPM 20 CV still holds up as one of the best blade steels all around, and I absolutely love it. Now, I will say, I have fewer knives in CPM 20 CV than I do in any other premium blade steel, but that doesn't negate the fact that I absolutely love 20CV and I think it's a great blade steel. Uh, I think anyone would be remiss in sleeping on CPM 20CV just because of how old it is um, and how, uh, you know, maybe newer blade steels getting in the way. Um, but uh, CPM 20CV still holds up as one of the greatest blade steels out there far as I'm concerned. Um, I'm really excited, and, and we talked about this in our Welcome to 2023 video, about uh, what blade steels are going to be really popular this year. Um, I got a feeling that 3V is going to be really popular this year. I got a feeling that 15V is going to be super, super popular this year, and I'm really looking forward to how M398 shakes out. Um, also, Spy27 from Spyderco is going to be very popular as well. So, really looking forward to see how the market shakes out and what is going to be really popular this year. But as of right now, these are my top five premium blade steels. Recap. We got LMAX. We got CPM 3V. We've got MagnaCut. We've got M390. And we've got 20CV. Those are my top five. Let us know in the comments down below what your top five premium blade steels are. Now, next up on this blade steel series, we're going to be doing top five mid-range blade steels. 
And that's going to include things like D2 and A2, uh, O1, um, some of the older tool steels, but are still really, really big time performers. Um, we're also going to be in that in that same vein. We're going to be talking um, things like Sandvik steels, 14C 28N, um, 12C 27, um, because those fit in that mid range as well. 154CM is definitely a contender in there. So we're going to be talking about all those and what our top five favorite mid range steels are. Then we're also going to be doing top five favorite budget steels. Stay tuned, folks, because it's going to be an awesome year, and we're really looking forward to it. We're also going to be doing a lot of field testing. That's what you said you wanted uh, in our poll that we posted. So we are going to be doing a lot more field testing of knives coming up this year, so stay tuned for that. As always, folks, I'm TC with Smoky Knife Knifeworks, smkw.com. And remember, if it cuts like a premium blade steel, then we care. <laughs>